she was the second daughter. Who's, who was her husband? Abu Abul Abu Abu that's Zainab, radiallahu anha, his eldest daughter. Abu Al-As is the husband of the eldest daughter, Zainab. Uthman. Uthman ibn Affan, radiallahu anhu, na'am, the third khalifa. Ruqayya was ill. And Uthman ibn Affan wanted to go out with the Prophet he wanted to accompany him. But the Prophet told him, no, you stay behind and look after your wife. You see, brothers and sisters, the balance we have to maintain in our lives. When we have obligations, we have to fulfill them. This is jihad. And the Prophet says, no, it's more important that you stay back and look after your wife. He didn't say, yes, man, this is jihad, this is the best thing. Come on, leave your wife, let's go. No, he says, you stay behind and look after her. So we have to fix our priorities right. Our family, very important, brothers and sisters. Don't engage in activities that take away from the time, the quality time you should be spending with your family, with your wives, with your husbands, with your kids. Spend time with them. Well, last, brothers and sisters, did you come home early and sit and you sat with your kids? and said to them, okay, what homework do you have today? Maybe I can help you. Yeah. Or when last did you sit down with them and say, okay guys, what new happened in school today? How is school? Spend quality time with your family. The Prophet told him, you stay behind. He's going out to capture the caravan. And this is why, by the way, uh, in the aftermath of the Battle of Badr, when the Prophet ﷺ divvied up all the booty, all the spoils of war, he made a shear for Uthman. He said, had it not been for my order, Uthman would have been with us, so he deserves a shear. So Uthman is also no ordinary companion. By the time the Battle of Badr was finished, Ruqayya would die, though, she passed away. By the time the Prophet came back, she, was, she had died and then he would eventually marry Uthman to her sister, Umm Kulthum. So he's the only companion of the Prophet who ever married two daughters of the Prophet Ruqayya first, and when she passed away, Umm Kulthum, radiallahu anhu. Now remember, the Prophet had all these groups and small groups counting and gathering information. So when he missed the caravan the second time, he didn't return right away to, to, to Matina. But he got information that this armed group from Quraysh was headed their way. So he did not return to Medina, but they continued to, to move. They ended up in the place known as Badr. Badr is a place in Saudi Arabia. It's about maybe a hundred miles out of Mecca. That's where the battle will take place. But inshallah, you know, it's almost, it's already 10 o'clock. So please forgive me for not uh, doing more of the seerah because our time is short tonight. But we'll stop here and when we meet again and we do the seerah, we will continue with the logistics of the Battle of Badr, inshallah, the greatest battle in the history of Islam. Okay, so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us. May He open our hearts and minds so that we can understand this wonderful message he has revealed for all of mankind and may he inspire us all to live by this message may Allah teach us what is beneficial to us may he cause us to benefit from what we learn and may he increase our knowledge so that we can better serve him and worship him